So we covered a lot of stuff in that last video. I hope that you've recovered a little bit and now I'm going to go a little bit deeper into the uh, filters and search functionality of, of uh, uh, views and types. Now we touched on this a little bit when we inserted our view into our content template. We filtered these reviews by the parent that it was on, right? So this re these reviews are only going to show, you know, this the original view pulls up all reviews and then it filters out any that aren't the restaurant that we're viewing, right? So that's what we were doing when we added that filter. So I'm going to go into that a little bit more. And in order to do that, we're going to go to our views and we're going to edit this page, our actual restaurant directory view. So that's our restaurant listings. And we're going to add a new filter for some of our custom fields and our category and stuff like that, right? So in order to do that, we are going to go down to our filter editor, and this is what's actually going to show available filters for your users. And we're going to click in between the filter controls short codes and just kind of enter it down like that so we can start entering it in. And we're going to click on new filter. And we're going to click on restaurant categories, right? So that's going to be our first one. Our first one is going to be uh, allowing them to filter by the categories or by our custom taxonomy. And we can have some options here. So we'll do, you know, please select or let's say filter by category. And that's the that's what's going to be shown here. So we I like it. I like a drop down for this for categories, but you can kind of choose whatever you'd like. And then there's some other options here. You can take a look at those. And then we're going to add in a second filter for our custom field, which is delivery, right? And let's just do as defined in types, because what we want to see is yes or no, right? So we'll insert short code there, and then we'll save our sections. And actually, sorry, and right before that, now we just need to add in a submit button. And right above our submit button, we're going to add in a text search just to show you that we can do that too. And we'll insert our short code and we'll save all of our sections at once. Let me just refresh this page. So now we can see that we have, and this is very, very ugly, I understand, but I'll, I'll show you how to clean this up a little bit. But uh, essentially what we can see here is if I go to fine dining, so right now I see both. If I go to fine dining and I hit submit, you're going to see now I only have fine dining. If I go to pizza and hit submit, I only have my pizza. If I go to filter by category and hit submit again, they're both back. If I select delivery, which only the pizza shack does and hit submit, it's going to show me just the pizza shack. And let me uncheck this and I will just type in dining, right? We'll just do something like that just to show you it does it for search results as well. So now we have a text search. One thing we probably want to add in next to our submit button is a reset button. So let's save that. And this is going to whatever, if, if I do something like, let's say Chinese food, which we know we don't have, and I do submit, it's not going to show me anything. And there's no items found here, right? You can change that as well. So in our view, you can see that this is our loop. So this is what it's going to show if items are found. Right? So I have our short code here, WPV-items.found. So what's it saying is this is what's going to happen when items are found, and this is the end. And then what happens if there's no item found? So whatever you put in here, you can just change this text label or you can do whatever you'd like. Um, some even more complicated setups might have another view here. So if they're not seeing one thing, it might show a whole different you can a whole different view. You can put all kinds of stuff in here. So it really is quite uh, dynamic and flexible. Uh, but if you change this, so I could say something like, "No restaurants met your criteria." Just save that, and we'll refresh that page. And you can see no restaurants, major criteria. And then we can click this reset button and it's going to take out anything that I put in. So, you know, this is just, I just inserted them really. I didn't do any kind of styling to them or anything like that. You know, I'll show you a little bit more about how we can style our views and our cred forms and stuff like that when we get into front end page builders because they're all gonna work a little bit differently. And I wanna show you specifically how we can style it. So I'll have a tutorial covering styling for all this kind of stuff. Uh, and some of them is basically just using short codes and stuff like that from our front end page builders. We can use those short codes in some cases right within here. And that's going to make it a lot easier to create things like columns and stuff like that, right? 
Uh, so now we have added in our search and filters into our view and there's a bunch of different stuff that we can filter this by uh, using this filter editor. Now up here, query filter, uh, there's a lot of things that we can do like that for that here. You can see that when I added filters in here, it added it up here, right? But let's just say that you wanted, if you were gonna have menu items and pages for each category of restaurant. Now you don't really need to do that, but I'm trying to keep this open because there's a lot of things that people are gonna be using this for. So if you wanted to create, let's say a business directory, and then you wanted to create a page for each category, uh, what you would have to do, I mean, you would have to create uh, multiple views, but what you would do for each one is you would add a filter and you can filter it by all these different information. And what that's gonna allow you to do is create multiple versions of a view that operate the same, but that are filtered by category. So you can, even though it's pulling in all restaurants, we can filter it before the user even filters it, we can use that query filter. And there's a lot of different stuff like that. Something else you may wanna use that for if you have something like dates and you wanted content to not be visible if it was after a certain date, then we can add a filter and we can go down to post date, you know, and there's different conditions and, you know, today, you know, current, future, past, stuff like that. I'll link to some documentation about that as well and some other stuff when we're talking about views, just so, because um, it would be impossible for me to cover everything, but I'll link to documentation so you can read more about that. And it is gonna be really handy to you in the future. So that is our uh, video about search and filters. It's pretty basic, it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, check out the next video where we are going to talk about integrating our views and our types with Google Maps.